Hello and welcome to how to schedule the Remedy 4 cell that pens a job on Windows Server. This are the prerequisites we need. We need a Windows Server with Pentaho Data Integration 7.1 or 7.0 and the Remedy 4 cell 2.0 with permission sets package running. Also, if you haven't seen the video how to configure Remedy 4 cell the package, we recommend you to see the video first before continue with this. All right, let's go ahead and log into our Windows Server. First, open the Remedy Force package folder on a Windows File Explorer. And open as well the folder where you have installed the Pentaho Data Integration tool. Make sure you have opened the right folder. This is crucial for the rest of the process. Now, go to the Remedy Force package folder and rename the folder Scheduling Files with no spaces between the scheduling and the files word. This will save us possible issues with the rest of the process. Open up the Scheduling Files folder. There, you'll see two bad files. Make a copy of the file Scheduling Transfer LDAP Info and paste it on the same folder. This is to create a backup of the file. Right click on the scheduling transfer LDAP info and click on edit. Leave this notepad on assign and open the Pentaho data integration folder, which we previously opened. Copy the address of the data integration folder and get back to the notepad. On the first line on the notepad, type CD, followed by the data integration folder address. There must be a space between CD and the address. Also, replace the kettle home address for the same data integration folder and remove the double quotes. Do the same for the third line, till the kitchen dot bad. Go back to the package folder and copy the address of the folder where you have the file transfer LDAP info .kjv. This is the file we need to schedule. Go back to the notepad and replace the folder name. Remove the extra code that is here. Now make sure there is no additional spaces. There should there is also be something like this. And there must be a space after the kitchen bath and one more after the KJV. Also make sure there is no additional lines or spaces at the end of the script. There should be only four lines. Now save the file and open a common prompt as an administrator. Using CD, go to the Package Scheduling Files folder. We will need to test the script before setting on schedule. So copy the bat file name and paste it on the common prompt. The job should start running now. Once it finished, you should get something like this. This means our script is ready to be scheduled. Open the Windows Test Scheduler.
and click on create new task. Type a name and description and check run with the highest privileges. Now go to the triggers tab and click on new. Select your run schedule. I will select to run daily at 12 a.m. And after that, click on OK. Now go to the Actions tab and click on New. The action should be Start a Program. And click on the Browser button and select the Scheduling Transfer LDAP Info.bat, which is the file which is modified. Click on OK and OK again. So now we have a schedule or Active Directory sync to Remedy Force to run daily at 12 a.m. You can modify this to fulfill your needs. So this is all for today's video. Below you'll find an old article with the combinations and workarounds in case you face any error. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.